This is Shovel Hit 8. Welcome to another Cast Iron Wednesday uh, September challenge, which is excellent eggs. So today for Leah, we're going to make quiche because she asked. So we're going to use a 10 inch, yeah, 10 inch cast iron pie pan, which works excellent. Um, what else we're going to use? We're going to cook, I've got some steamed broccoli here. We're going to have more vegetables than I need, but that's okay. I'm, I'll freeze them. I got a new uh, food saver vacuum sealer, and I'm going to try that out. So we've got peppers, onions. We may adjust the amount of peppers and onions. Eggs, mushrooms, homemade pie dough, half butter, half lard, and some medium cheddar cheese. So I'm going to cook up all the uh, the vegetables because I want them all cooked and I want them warm when I put them in the pie. And uh, I'll get them on and I'll roll up my pie crust so you don't have to watch and laugh. And uh, we'll uh, go from there. Okay, here's our first uh, batch of vegetables going into our well, we're going to watch. So I'm going to cook, cook these down so I get rid of the moisture. And we'll do our peppers and onions and garlic. And then finally we'll throw on our broccoli to make sure it's dry too. So we'll come back when we throw on something else. Okay, push our Push our fire alarm button. Okay, now that we've uh, silenced the smoke alarm, which goes off every time you have the oven on for some reason. The one in the same room doesn't go on. But anyways, we'll turn the fan on in a moment. And we'll just cook that up. And we're back. We're going to throw in the last of our vegetable filling. So we're going to throw in some bacon. I think this was about six slices because it's too salty for somebody. But anyways. And here comes our chopped bread broccoli. I want my vegetables pretty well as dry as I can get them but I don't have to go crazy to it's already cooked so we'll give that a few minutes to be happy and we'll mix it all up and then we'll well get my pie crust ready and we'll uh, put it together okay I guess we're going to start trying to put this together. My oven's hot, so we cheat a little bit because it's a, uh, got eggs into it. We know it's going to want to sog, soggy up our crust, so we paint our crust up with some spray. Helps prevent the soggies. The second way we do that is Put a layer, a good layer of cheese on the bottom. And we'll come back when that's done. And here's our cooked vegetables. So we're going to see how much we can fit into here and see if we guess right. And I think we're probably right. We're going to have enough for another, another quiche some other day.
that looks about right. You don't want to overflow. Let's get rid of this. And we'll finish it off. And uh, in case anybody's wondering, here's my helper. He's uh, trying my patience, is what he's doing. So anyways, there we go. We're just going to... This is six eggs. Like I'm... Uh, I never get this right. I think I'm going to go for one more. And there we go, ready to pop into the oven, and uh, I won't make you watch that. And we're going to cook it on at 425 for 10 or 15 minutes, and then lower the heat down to cook the eggs. Okay, we're back. And if you can hear... Here comes the quiche. So we're going to let that sit down and set up, sit there and set up for 10 to 15 minutes. And then we'll come back. And here we go. Here's our uh, plating done. Uh, let this calm down a bit so it's easier to eat. But there's our uh, broccoli quiche. With lots of cheese, cheese on the bottom, cheese on the top, and bacon, and all the good stuff, and a little bit of garden tomatoes. So, uh, we've, now we've set ourselves up for the DIY dark matter taste test. The most important part of the show, except for my two tape, two other taste testers have gone to see what mummies he do. So, we'll, we'll be back. Okay, time for the DIY dark matter taste test. Like I said, two of my my other two helpers have decided that they were going to visit somebody else rather than me. So I only have two. You coming? Much. So anyways, it tasted good. I didn't put any salt onto it, which was good because the bacon I had was saltier as well. I was told. So anyways, uh, this was a September challenge of eggs, excellent eggs. So we made a quiche for uh, Leah had asked. And um, Cast Iron Wednesday was started by Dave Native Tears, chief playlist on our website. Now the link will be down below. And uh, please like, comment, uh, check out all the other channels doing Cast Iron Wednesday, or you're welcome to cook something up. Uh, it can be the, ch the monthly challenge or in just anything else you want. And let us know when we'll put it on the playlist. So, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next Wednesday. This is what happens when you go see mommy instead of showing up for the taste test. You don't get a taste test. Oh well. Yeah, right, like they'd get away without the case test.
Well, does it make the grade? 